Let f of x equal the integral from 1 to x of 1 over t dt for x being greater than 0. We want to prove that f is strictly increasing. So to do that, we take the derivative and we use the first fundamental theorem of calculus. So we'll plug in x in for t here. And then chain rule says to take the derivative of x, which is just 1. We know that this is going to be greater than 0 for all x greater than 0. So this means that f is increasing. Now we want to show that f inverse of 0 is equal to 1. Well, let's fi first find f of x. So we know that f of x is the integral from 1 to x, 1 over t dt. So taking the antiderivative 1 over t, plug in 1, plug in x, subtract. We know that ln of 1 is 0, so this is just equal to ln of absolute value of x. So that's f of x. Now to get to f inverse of x, we're going to replace the x and the y. So think of this as just y equals ln of absolute value of x. So we'll say x is then equal to ln of absolute value y. And so we have e to the x equals e to the ln of absolute value of y, which is just x equals y. Or e to the x is equal to y which that is the f inverse of x. Okay, so now we move on and say, okay, what is f inverse of zero? Well, f inverse of zero is gonna be e to the zero, which is equal to one. And so we showed that f inverse of zero is equal to one. Now we wanna prove that f of a, b is equal to f of a plus f of b. Well, f of a, b is the integral from one to a, b of one over t dt, which is the, the natural log of absolute value of t from one to a, b, and plug in a, b and plug in one, we get that is equal to ln of a, b because ln of one is equal to zero. And so now we wanna use a property, the product proper, the property, so we split this up into addition, so ln of a plus ln of b, which ln of a is going to be the integral from one to a of uh, one over t dt, and then ln of b is the integral from 1 to b of 1 over t dt. Now this is equal to f of a, and this is equal to f of b. So we show that f of a b is equal to f of a plus f of b. Now finally, we want to prove that f inverse of a plus b is equal to f inverse of a times f inverse of b. Well, we showed previously that f inverse of x is equal to e to the x. So f inverse of a plus b is e to the a plus b, which is equal to e to the a times e to the b. Now f inverse of a is e to the a, and f inverse of b is e to the b, since I'm just plugging in a and b for x over here. So as you can see, f inverse of a plus b, that's e to the a times e to the b, and then f inverse of a is e to the a, and then f inverse of b is e to the b. And so that completes the proof.